What is going on? How is everybody doing? Tell me if you see me. Tell me if you love me. How is everybody doing? Clammy jammies. We are live. What is going on there, bum crack? That name is something serious. Hey, yo, what's up, man? What is going on, Sean the Baptist? Hello, hello. What is going on? I want to give a big shout out to all my hazers. I thought I had this plug in enabled so I could see everybody highlighted that was donating money to me. No, not the case. And apparently, fucking Breeze over here playing the tambourine. That's <laughs> what is going on, everybody? It is a lovely Sandy Sunday. Just another manic Monday. Uh, not today. And it's not manic. It's going to be absolutely insane. A couple things I want to cover. We all know at this point, this is the second version. I think the last time I did it was two weeks ago where we talked about something else. Um, oh, yeah. I remember. That other shit. Don't want to bring it up because I don't want to give anybody any kind of credit that they don't deserve. Now, I just want to put this out there before we get this jumping. Don't ask for free shit in my room. If... You don't like the idea that I don't want to send you my dripper or my mod, then man the fuck up and deal with it. Okay? That's done. So that 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 ship has sailed. Okay. Today we got a couple little things, a couple little subjects. Just want to give everybody a big shout out over here on the chat. Chat log, I got this fucking pubic hair up here by my ear. I don't know how it got there. Um, we're just gonna leave it there because it's keeping the top of my ear. You know what's cool? Just watch this. How cool is that? Okay, shit's getting weird. Okay. I've got a couple things. I've got a couple subjects. Uh, first I want to bring up is this whole thing with Jersey. I was going to do a video on it, but I felt like it would have more authenticity if we just did it in a live show. So uh, there's a, a bit of a problem going on right now where they just banned. Um, what the fuck are you doing, Ryan? <laughs> It's hard for trying to be quiet. Okay. Um, right. Anyway, so let's go back. So there is something that just passed where you are not allowed in Jersey to vape or smoke on certain sections of the beach and parks. They just passed that like two days ago. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and then uh, I think we also have to factor in is the enforcement. How much people is it going to take for them to hire to make sure that that is uh, uh, not validated? I forget the word. Um, enforced. Where are you going to have the people that are protecting people, lifeguards, that have those long red sticks? Are you going to tell them, hey, listen, I don't know why I had to explain what a lifeguard was to you, uh, but hey, listen, instead of worrying about, you know, the people out there drowning in the ocean, worry about people smoking cigarettes or vaping. It's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then you got this new 10 cents per uh, per mil jammy going on. So if you got a 30 mil that's got either 3 milligrams, 1.5, or even 24, it's going to be an extra $3. We're not, I'm not sitting here just giving you news. It's drama because uh, it kind of pisses me off. Like, you have a lot of other states that have since validated vaping that vaping is much more healthier than smoking. Now, as a business, I can't tell people that. But us just shoot, shooting the shit, absolutely, I can tell you that. There's, there's nothing wrong with me being an individual and telling you that. Anyway, long story short is how are they supposed to know I'm on the fucking beach and you got you got Mary Mary over here. I was going to say Jane, but that's not the right person. You got Mary over here eating fucking brownies on the beach. Don't know how she got them, but she's eating them, right? And then you got me over here vaping on a chocolate brownie. How do you know? You know, I mean, like, how do you know? Kind of have to chalk that one up. Wow, it smells like delicious grape Kool-Aid out here on the beach today. Because that guy over there is vaping on great Kool-Aid. It's kind of stupid. I think it's fucking dumb. I think it's dumb that we're at a point where uh, people, society, believe that inhaling vape is going to be toxic. In reality, that's not the case. And it kind of irritates me. I hope one day that I get such a voice that's so loud that people all over the nation hear me. Oh, you know where that's going. Okay, moving forward. Um... 
that's just dumb. It's just straight up dumb. Uh, next thing is I want to discuss is uh, I don't think we can avoid it is the basium, the Davpo. How many people got so ass hurt with my opinion? I think it's ironic at this point that um, when my hazers, right? Because most people in here watching me are hazers. Uh, you're you're out there, you know, and you you believe that. I can have my own opinion, just like you can have your own opinion. Some people like Playboy Luckin Chicks, other people like the Fatty McFatties, right? Like that's that's personal preference of what you choose. It's the same thing with vaping. If if, I, if there's a certain device that I don't like, and Jenny had brought this brought this up, big shout out to you, Jenny, uh, as, as well as Carolyn, uh, uh, Matt Kilgore, uh, there, there's quite a... Uh, Brian Nickel, there's quite a lot of people, Ricky Bobby, uh, that I'm, there are lots of shots outs I'm giving now. Uh, everyone that is that I just labeled inside this chat needs to throw some dollars up in the sign because I'm sending your name. And I want to give a big shout out to Mike Walls, very big patron, and happy birthday, daddy -o. Sad panda. Okay, anyway, let's move on. So the Basium, right? Uh, yeah, lots of shit. Apparently, a lot of people don't like my opinion, and that's fine. They shouldn't be watching my fucking video if they don't want to hear things that other people will not tell them. Okay, I have an opinion just like everybody else. And if there's a certain device that I think is lacking in certain features, absolutely, I'm going to voice it. There's going to be nothing that's going to hold me back in regards to hurting someone else's feelings in regards to a product that they put their fucking name on. I had the same problem with Mike Vapes and the Icon. We killed that. Everything was good to go. He understood that that was my opinion. That's how I felt. You know, uh, the Drop Dead is a great example. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I didn't think it was a piece of shit. I got a five. Now, I'm not going to sit here and, and try to justify why I gave it the rating that I did it because I did that already in the video. I just think it's ironic that the people that stick up for me, you guys are, uh, I, I was going to say castrated, but I, I don't I don't think that's the right word. And ostracized? Ah, I feel like that's the word I'm looking for. Ostracized, like the bird. I feel like you guys get shit. Tanner, what is going on, brother? Thanks for the five beans. I know you got to put a zero on the end of that. Boom. Uh, okay, no, but seriously, I think I think the problem is is that you guys all fight for me, you know. And when you fight for me, you're riding my dick or whatever the case may be. Right, like you're fighting for something you believe in. You believe that I can have my opinion, even though you don't. What, what's going on, DJSB? Even though you don't agree with um, with what I'm saying, there it is, pickles with the taco cat. What the fuck? That's not a shout out to me, Ryan. Brian just gave you fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay, well, you're sucking my dick later. Um, so back back to what I was saying. That's why he gets paid for. That's why Ryan gets paid the big bucks. Slobby nobby. Okay. Um, so anyway, I, it just bothers me that someone sticks up, you know, uh, Tanner, there it is. That's my man coming through with the 10 beans. Okay. Anyway, that sounds like I'm a money hungry prick. Uh, I'll go over that in a second. That's some more drama. So anyway, let, let's get back to this. So what bothers me though, is, is how people, you know, you guys fight for me and, and all jokes aside without, <sighs> thank you, Joseph, without being an asshole, it's nice to know that there's people out there that support my decision, whether I like something or I don't like it. And even though you may like that device, you still see my, my point of view and you respect it. But if you, if you show the respect, you're wrong. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. Now, now anybody that's a hazer, you guys know that I will fight fucking tooth and nail. And anybody that hasn't, watched or listened to um the vp radio jammy uh brian's got the link i don't know brian if you could post it in here uh i actually talked a little bit about hazers and i got pretty emotional i did because you guys are my all and it bothers me when the, you're in the middle of an argument with someone on the internet i know this is corny but I can't fight for you if I'm not there to protect you. I know that sounds corny. I know it does. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that, Quincy, what's going on, brother? I'm not saying that to be corny. I mean that from the depths of my heart. 
I apologize that I can't fight that battle with you or for you. I'll try. I'll, I'll type it up, but I can't promise you that we're going to win. But we'll fight it together. Um, the numbers are strong with Hazers. They're strong. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the Daft Poe didn't like it. I, I wasn't a big fan. And today, I don't want to ruin it, but... I actually went outside, not with that device, but with another Dafo device. You're just going to have to wait. But I lost my fucking shit again. Again. There's products that are coming out that should not be coming on the fucking market. Uh, there he is. I don't know if you got it, Michael. Gave you a shout out. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Mr. President, happy birthday to you. All right. I have no idea. Ah, Tom Bus, what's up, man? I think that is the number that has the number. I think that is the gentleman that has number 502 for the actual 502 dripper. Anyway, uh, look at this. It's getting all nice and shit. I'm singing to everybody. We're having a fucking party. Anyway, um, right. So look, look how many people are here. They all want to hear drama. Let's move on to the next thing. So Hazers covered that. Uh, the, the Beach covered that. Uh, the Davpo covered that. Covered their new fucking product. Uh, Jenny, thanks for the 10 beans. Uh, listen, we know the deal with with how I feel, all I'm going to say is they created a product that had a 4.2 volt fucking cutoff, and it's a regulated device. I don't like that because I, I don't want to ruin the review. All I'm saying is that look at the shirt. Remember the shirt? It's kind of faded. It's old. It's gray. It's affliction. It's not gray. It's orange or yellow, whatever. It's a color. Um, and then try to link that up with the video that you see today. I almost hit a guy with the mod. That's all I'm going to say is I threw the mod against the wall. Now that you fucking know what it is, it's the Daft Pole Punisher 90. Just ruined it. Uh, but I threw it against the wall. And I missed the fucking wall, which is like 20 feet wide. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, missed the wall. The fucking mod flies between my car and the business, bounces about 50 fucking times on the ground. Like, you know how you skip rocks in a lake? Well, that was I wasn't really trying to skip a mod, but but I guess I missed the missed the wall. And there was a gentleman walking up, and all in my mind is that fucking thing is gonna bounce up and hit that guy right in the eye socket. Like that's all I thought about. So I don't try to run up to catch the mod because realistically, I'm not gonna be able to catch it. It's bouncing. It's on its way. It's almost gonna stop. Let it go. Um, the guy didn't even do a trick either. He saw it coming. He just kind of stood there, like, hey. Miss me. Now you got to kiss me, bitch. Didn't say that. Uh, so I, I got the mod, right? Almost in a fucking car. So what I do? I go back to the side of the wall. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fucking break this shit. Throw it on the roof. Because I just wanted it out of my life. I had to get it away as quick as possible. So throw it up in the air. Guess what? A fucking building is 50 feet wide. I miss the fucking building. It goes over the building, right? I feel like a superstar. Like baseball or or um, uh, ba baseball is not the right word. Uh, uh, foosball. No, that's that's the thing. That's the guys with the sticks and the ah. Uh, I got nothing. Softball. Nope, that's what, not it. I, I, I clearly I don't know. Back a rat. That's I think that's with dice. I, I don't know. I, whatever. I, I throw the fucking mod. What does it do? It goes between. Listen, my luck today is absolutely trash. It goes between this building and the building behind, bounces on the concrete, and goes in another business in the back door. And I heard it. I said, shit, went into somebody's fucking business. All I thought about was that's going to bounce off the ground and hit the guy in the fucking head inside the business. This is the last thing that I need for this piece of shit mob. So I, I look in. But he's like, don't go in there. I make my way in the fucking business anyway. I grab it. I told the guy, I said, listen, um, my mod, it's it's in your business on the floor. He's like, ah, don't worry about it. Just get it. So I just walk in his business and I grab it. Needless to say, the mod survived all of this. It looked like shit, but 
I just, you know, I lose my shit, man. I, I don't see anything wrong with me going out. If I want to take my money, just like the people in the chat right now, if they want to throw the fucking dollar bills at me like I'm some kind of stripper, I have no problem with that. I would show my balls and my junk off, but we're on YouTube. This is more, I want to say family oriented. It's just not the proper place, nor the time. Right now, it's too early. It's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Hit me up like 7 p.m. We'll go private on some, some shit. Private, like. Okay. Okay. Uh, moving forward. So anyway, um, just like how people here, they want to throw their money at me and they know that I'll take it, but it, I, I don't need to justify it. I don't. I really don't. And and they don't want me to either. Anyway, so I missed the fucking, I missed my whole top of the building, right? Guys, my building is 50 feet wide. Like, okay. The wall's 20 feet. The building's 50. I miss both. It, it's, don't, don't accumulate the two to be 70 feet. Because that's not the case. That's like a quarter mile. Not really. Uh, but I missed the building, and it went into the guys next door. That's that's not really drama. That's just my life story. This is how it goes down. So um, that's that. Now the next thing. I've got lots of drama today. Rob, what is going on, brother? Um, thanks for the 10 beans. Okay, so one more thing I want to cover up. That, well, that sounds bad. Uh, I'm not trying to cover up anything. I'm actually trying to uncover something. Like if you were on the bed, and I would strip the blankets off of you is what I'm trying to do. Sweep them out from underneath you. You got the table with the cloth, the, the, the cups and the silverware plates on the table, pull the cloth quick enough, everything stays where it is. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, triple V2 RTA. Uh, I, I was unaware when I did the, um, the glass RTA, I did that probably, oh my God, I'd have to look at the date that I created it, but I want to say... It's about eight days ago, R r roughly, very roughly eight days ago. Anyway, I got the triple about, I don't know, six days ago. So after I did that video, I found out that the triple V2 28 millimeter with vaping with twisted uh, came out with the V2. Now, look, I'm going to tell you what's going to go down. You're not going to like the video again. If you're a fucking reviewer and you're putting or you have a name in this industry, I don't give a shit if Sig makes shitty products or Doc Home makes shitty products. I just go beat it up. That's what I do. You got to beat it up before you eat it up. What? Okay. Um, anyway, so that's what I do. You know, I hold people to a certain standard, and so does everybody else. As consumers, you want that good product. You want to you be able to confide in the person that's telling you about the product, right? The Triple V2 RTA, I'm going to tell you right the fuck now before you even watch the video. If you already own the first one, don't buy the second one. There's, I, I don't want to ruin it. All I'm going to say is this. All they implemented, the deck is exactly the same. It's just got holes in it. Screws are different which does not constitute buying it. And then the way you fucking fill it is a slide versus unscrewing the top. You know what that is to me? Is this right here. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. You can, you can kind of guess. You know what I'm doing right there? You know what I'm doing? Do you know what I'm doing? Do you know what I'm doing, right? You know what I'm doing? Uh oh! Ding, ding, ding! We've got a winner! We've got, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. We've got a winner. We've got, got the winner. We've got a winner. We've got, got the winner. We've got a winner. We've got, got a winner. We've got a winner. We've, got a winner. We've okay. All right, that's how we do things here. Um, I don't even need to go to the gym, work out. I just stand up and dance. <laughs> Shit is sweaty. Um, that's exactly what that is. That's exactly what it is. And I, I listen, I understand. I get it. I do. But I'm going to be that guy that's going to fucking tell people. This is how I see it. Just like people, I already know what people are going to say about the mod. Jay's trying to charge $2,000 for this mod. That's a ripoff. Fuck you, then don't buy it. It's that simple. If you don't want to spend the money, don't fucking buy it. Uh, and that, you can use the same argument for the Triple V2 um, or the Dafo Basium, whatever works, whatever works in your favor. I know the hate is going to be real at the end of this fucking video. But you know what? Look how many fucking people are in the room. 
So all the people are like, ah, top tier drama. I don't want to hear the drama. I have so much drama in my life already. I don't want to hear it. Guess what? Oh, I call bullshit. They don't call soap operas soap operas for nothing. It's because they're so poppy. There's. <laughs> I was going for two different words. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going for soapy and they're singing opera. But for some reason it came out as soap poppy. <laughs> That's Spanish and uh, I think Russian. Blended in to be one word, soap poppy. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't even know how that worked out. That's how, because my mind is quick. Like it's, it's like attack. It's sharp. At least that's what I've been told. Um, what? It's too fast. It's too fast. I, I could, my mind was not thinking as quick as what my mouth was. You know what I mean? Like it, it didn't work out the same way. Like it, the brain said it, but the mouth was like, no, wait a minute, brain. Let me finish what I'm saying. And then I realized when it was done, that was the wrong word. Anyway, um, and look, I, no, look, I'm not done. I'm okay. I, I'm fine. I don't think I had a stroke. Uh, I, I think the biggest problem is, is that, um, you know, at this day and age, the biggest issue is that people are creating things and, and we know how much I love the consumers. That's why I do this. Okay. I don't do it for the money, even though I make plenty of it. I'll put that out there. I don't give a shit. Um, but everybody knows that, you know, I'm not hiding that, uh, Time and time again, the problem we're having is a lot of these devices that are, con I, I don't know if anybody has noticed, but there's been a kind of a stagnant uh, run of month recently. There's not, no one's really creating anything. And I, I'm not saying that they're, kind of, let me retort. Okay. Companies are creating things, but they're nowhere near as quick as they are now as what they were six months ago. So they're not pushing out 50 different things at one time because I feel like they're realizing Excuse me, that was rude. Um, <coughs> sorry, cream cheese, amp. They don't go well together. I got like a cherry cheesecake going on. Actually, that sounds pretty delicious. I wish I could burp that. Um, so I think the problem is, is that they, they pumped out so many different products that they're realizing, oh shit, we made all this shit now. We got to do something. Take the mods apart, Sunshine Lou, because that's apparently the person that signed the fucking, the, 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 the waiver. That's not it. It's not a waiver. That's not it either. Um, the MSDS sheet, Sunshine Lou down there with fucking Joseph Wang, you know, um, they're realizing, oh shit, let's take these mods apart and try to do what we can to save this and continue to make money off of products we've already made. I expect at that point reviewers to say, or people that are designing, let's be different. For instance, I just got an RTA. Hold on. I want to show you something. Okay, I want to show you something. So this company, I know right off the bat you think of Vandy Babe. That's not what this is. So, uh, and I'm not trying to promote this. I'm just putting this out there. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if you do fucking capital letters in here, you're going to get blocked or shut up. So don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, okay. All right. So anyway, I want to show you something. So this is Vapefly, right? Same company that made, I, I don't know why I was showing the camera up here. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is Vapefly. Now, I haven't done a review for this RTA. As you can tell, it's open. I checked it out. Whatever. I want to show you something. No-name company, right? Like, it's, I feel like the name of this company could be Purple B. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is, right? So you take a company like this that uh, did something with, what is this guy's name? Um, I think it's Joseph Hancock. Hold on. Um, okay, here we go. Let, let me show you something real quick. I, I'm probably not supposed to show you this, but I don't give a shit. Here we go. Ready? A project by Vapefly and German 103 team. That is the name of the company that's working with Vapefly here. Um, specifically, the guy's name that, that made this is, uh, oh, I'm going to butcher the shit out of this. Edwin, are you in here? My Mr. German man, Edwin Spiegelbergenstorff. Are you in here? Edwin, can you fucking answer me? 
Okay. Well, anyway, uh, the guy that made this with Vapefly, I have no idea who this guy is, but his name is Matt. That's not his name at all. It's actually Martin. Uh, uh, there he is, uh, Edwin Spiegelberger. Uh, the way you say this guy's last name, I'm going to say this wrong, but I'm going to leave that up to you. Right? Oh, wow, that, clear, that is clear as shit. You see that right there? Heart, H-A-R-T-K-O-P-F. Okay. All right. Let, let's, let's evaluate for a second, right? Now, this is a no-name company. Well, I wouldn't say they're a no-name company, but it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. The point I'm trying to get to is you take this company and this, this Matt Horkin diversities guy, and you, and you create this, right? Looks like a regular, simple RTA. We've seen a thousand of these before, right? Everybody's seen an RTA before. Um, I don't need glasses. You need glasses. Shut the fuck up. Uh, so anyway, uh, actually, I don't need I'm pretty good on a vision. Um, no, but serious. Let's be serious. I want to show you something. I want to show you this. Why is it that you take a company like this, now, I know what you could use the argument before you use the argument and say the reason why these other companies aren't doing this is because there's too much risk involved. If another company is going to make this, you guys are getting a lot of me today, a lot of drama. You, I know you could use the argument and say that other companies are not doing this because it's too risky. You know, they might risk the chance of not making anything. Making something new doesn't mean that it's going to be successful. It's just new. Well, you take this deck, for instance. It's never been done before, especially in an RTA. Look at this deck. So you have a reverse clamp, center airflow, bottom airflow, vented, sort of like the recurve goes down at an angle. Never been done before. Who the fuck is Matt Horkendorfie? Who's that? Who's, you got this guy over here doing shit that people that are reviewing products should be doing, right? Like we see enough of products to say, okay, this could be fixed. No. It's not the case at all. Um, I, I just, I, you know, it just, it just irritates me, you know, and it, and I, I know it irritates a lot of other people. It's just whether or not other people are going to voice it as, as well as I'm going to voice it or not as well. You, you get what I'm saying? That just going to say it without giving a shit about the repercussions. You know, um, I, I, I don't want to say I was ever raised like this. You know, uh, my, my, I don't want to say that I was raised right because I was raised like a piece of shit. I mean, you saw me on the balcony. I was doing things that I probably should not have been doing. Um, but it was the military that taught me discipline and taught me integrity. And that has what has changed my life. So, and that's who I am today is because of that. You can also use the argument that I am who I am because, you know, as a kid, I was beat up a lot. I was made fun of, but you know, once I hit 16 and I, you know, just fought back and people were spitting in my face. I don't know what the fuck this got to do with shit. Um, but it's about making a difference. I don't, I don't know how that ties into Matt Harkendurfee. I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a review of that, uh, Jay. But the, 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 the thing is, is that why is people like that making it? But you have people that are doing things every day, that look at things every day. And it's the same shit from the same reviewer. Why is that? Why? Well, I, I can't. Let me retort because I, I, you're already thinking about that. But... There has been different things that have came out from reviewers. I'm not saying that they all are, and I'm not saying that the Bassium is no exception to that. There's nothing like it on the market. It just wasn't for me. I didn't break it because I didn't feel like it was worthy of being broken. Well, not worthy is not the right word, but you get what I'm saying. Um, it just bothers me that, I don't know, I get all this shit because people, uh, I don't even know. I feel like I'm speaking to the fucking wall right now. You get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it did, Turbo. And, you know, the thing is, is I, I had to do this the other day. I know a lot of people didn't want me to do it, but there's this thing where if, if someone that's in the military, right, anybody that's in the military is going to be able to uh, reference what I'm saying. You've served in the military. You're proud of that. You know, you don't go around asking for discounts. It is what it is. You got it. You got it. Uh, someone had said out it was fake. I was bullshitting. So I took a picture of my VA card and then everybody's like, oh, you don't need to feed into it. But you're wrong. I do. I do. Because. That is unacceptable. I have no problem with you thinking I'm a piece of shit. I got no problem with you not liking what I'm saying, but you could still respect the fact that I served 
for many years. We're not talking about two years, four years, six years, eight years. We're talking about 11 years. Almost made a career out of it. And then I was cut short. I don't want to get into why. It just was. Um, but I don't ask for sympathy. I don't. I don't need to. I, I don't know what this has to do with vaping. I don't even know. I, that's the problem is here we go. My brain is trying to catch up to everything that I'm saying. That's what it's all about, coach, you know? And I'm not saying that people in the military should get any kind of special treatment, because you you know people that are in the military hate the fact that military expects special treatment, if that makes sense. You know, um, but we get it, we get it, that's great, cool. But don't doubt the validity of my integrity. You know, don't, don't do it, don't, don't, just don't. You know, I even had to go, I, dude, I even had to pull up court records that I changed my original birth name from John to Jay, like I, I, I shouldn't need to do that. You know, like I'm not out here lying to get people's money. I, that's, nope, that's not what I'm doing. That's not who I am, you know, but I, I'll do, I'll go to extreme lengths to prove people wrong. Uh, it's the same thing with the hundred K. A lot of people want a hundred, I guess it's about hundred K now. Cause it's, I'm, I've been kind of stuck in limbo for a few days now, but, um, you know, it's good that I'm above 100K. People didn't think I'd get past 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80. I would never do it. Look at my views. You know, look at the subs. The, the numbers speak speak volumes. Look at my followers. Look at my hazers. Look how many people in the fucking room right now. You know, um, I, I don't know. It's just it's something that I'm very proud of. And as much as the supporters that I have out there, if it wasn't for the people that hated me, I don't feel I would have hazers. So it's because of the people that hated me is the people that love me. Like the other day, I met uh, Michael Lane. A lot of people know him. They, the, the guy that talks all that shit and wicks and coils. You guys know what I'm talking about. The, the guy that helped get my mod back there. Um, anyway, he was talking all the shit and wicks and coils. It was bothering me because it was like, we just got done shooting the shit. And I didn't tell him what he could and couldn't say. He's a grown ass man. Um, but like we we shot the shit and I didn't put myself above him. We talked for I Bree, how long was Michael here for when we were talking? Two hours? No, 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 no. Not Dimatino. Um Michael Lane, the guy, the eight dollar guy. Eight dollar. Oh, a while. Two hours, you say? Yeah. Two hours. Uh, I don't know if he's in here right now, but you know, we we sat here and we shot the shit. And a lot of people that are hazers know how I am as a person is the same way you see me right now. I'm very down to earth. I'm not that asshole you think I am. And that really goes back to the whole Basium thing. I have no vendetta against UK. I have a lot of people that are from UK that love me, or there's people that hate me as well. Uh, I'm not trying to sound condescending or cocky. I'm just saying this is how it is. Uh, whether someone else says it, you'll be right in my dick. If I say it, then I'm, I'm cocky. So no matter what, it is what it is. Um, but my the, the supporters I have are, for lack of a better term, so supportive. They are. And I, I've never done this on a video, and I guess I'll do it now, and I'll say thank you. Never have done that on a video. I said it in that, that, uh, that radio show. Um, I don't know if Brian posted a link or not, but I mean that from the depths of my soul. I know you do, Ricky. I know, uh, Ricky, great example. It's another dude, uh, high tier hazer, you know, hey, John Bear, what's up, brother? Um, you know, high tier hazer, Ricky, but we shoot the shit. You know, the one day, I get all emotional. The one day he's like, Jay, I'm gonna come through. Do you think you'd be available, you know, just to shoot the shit? I was like, yeah, no problem, let me know. And I came to work the next day super early just so I could meet the dude. Well, not meet him because we've met before, uh, but that's just how I am, you know? And I, I think people, once they get to know me and realize that I'm not as abrasive as I seem, I mean, sure, am I hurting people's feelings? Absolutely, I am. But guess what? That's fucking life, man. You know, man the fuck up. You know, someone doesn't like it. Some, you don't like the 502. You can be like, Jay, that 502 is garbage, okay? That's your opinion, man. That's great. It doesn't, I swear to God, anybody that knows me knows that does not affect me. It doesn't. It's like someone coming in and saying, someone had said to me the other day, this bothered the shit out of me. They said, we're boys. I swear to God this happened. We're boys. You should like my product and tell people you like it. I'm sorry, what? I should what? First off, don't tell me what I should do. Number two, you have no subscribers. You have no followers. You have nobody that watches your shit. 
right? Um, so just don't. And we got into it. We did. We got, it was thick. I have a video. It's not finished, but I have a video where I'm going over it, providing screenshots. But it, it was pretty heated. And that's got nothing to do with anything. You know, you come into my business, you're like, Jay, I don't like rain dance. I think it's disgusting. Okay. Don't get upset. That's you're you're allowed to have that right to not like something. And now I'm just ranting. I'm all over the fucking place. We're talking about liquid and drippers. And it's like the same thing with my drippers. I, I literally designed that dripper, the Jenna RDA, from the ground up. Nothing has been done before on it. Well, I guess the squonking has because it's a 510, but. And that's the thing, Jaffa. That's the same shit. Is it's not something that, you know, so if it's brought up, it's brought up. It's, it's whatever, you know? Uh, it is. It is, coaches. I, I, I truly believe that because you have to look at it. Anybody that has served or has anybody that, you know, maybe your father served and you didn't get the chance to or you didn't want to, whatever the case may be. If, if you have that military background, you'll understand my mindset, you know? And I think people are very, uh, I don't want to say jaded, but shaded because military, right? If your shit is jacked up, you have one ribbon. That's off by one fucking quarter of an inch or even two millimeters. Guess what? You're fucked. I'm taking all your shit out of your closet, your foot locker right now, and I'm putting it all over the fucking floor. And then I'm going to tip over everybody's shit and then everybody's got to clean it up because that's what I'm used to. So when I'm doing a dripper, when I'm doing, doing a lot of people back in the day used to say how detail orientated I was, how it would focus on the small things. Um, I, I really haven't heard that recently and I hope I haven't lost sight of that, but that, that, that's just, that's how it is, is I'm going to look at something under a microscope and I'm going to pull everything apart. Of course, a lot of it is going to be preference. Some people may like a 24, other people may like a 22. So a lot of that is going to be personal preference, but I just put it in front of you, tell you how I feel about it. And that is what it is. You don't like it, you don't like it. And why do you fucking continue to watch me? That they do, Ricky, that they do right now. You know, it's, I can't remember the word. I know it's jacked up, but there's a looking like a soup sandwich. You know what I'm talking about. Who knows about a soup sandwich? Fort Knox, Kentucky is where I went to basic training at in May of 1999. The name of there's a couple people on my on my friends list. Uh, the the name of the of the platoon I was in was Bushmasters, which I thought was such a stupid fucking word. You know, you had cobras and pythons and the gorillas and the and the and the rower cats. I don't I don't think that was actually a thing. Uh, the lion, the wolves. And then you got Bushmasters. Like what the? F That's not even cool. Apparently, it's some type of snake. <sighs> Life. Soup sandwich. What? Yeah, I mean, I, I just, you know, and the, the thing is that I don't, I don't want to, like, start losing people's interest. It's just, just, I create what I do for you. You know, I, I was having a discussion with somebody today. This is going to sound cocky, no matter how I say this. So I, I'm not going to apologize on the forefront. I'm just going to say it. I stopped making videos in 2015. I think it's what it was. I, I, if you look at my channel and you go to the about, you'll see that, uh, to, I, I want to say it was August of 2014 that I made the Jay Hayes channel. Obviously, I had other channels. I had my guild that I, whatever, that's corny. We're not even going to go that route. It doesn't matter. Um, well, I lost what I was going to say. What was I just saying? Oh, yes, yes. So 2014, I kind of stopped, or 2015, I just stopped. I said, you know what? getting a lot of shit because now if you watch my old videos if you watch me now i've never changed i've always been i guess for lack of better terms that asshole it's going to point things out um so I, I stopped in 2014 or 15 whatever uh roscoe thank you for the 20 beans brother um anyway 
so I stopped and it wasn't, and I, I've said this story a couple times. It's just, it just means something. Then a gentleman named William, who still shops at the store today, had said to me, you know, why'd you stop making videos, Jay? Why'd you stop? And for lack of better terms, I stopped because, not because I got a lot of shit or a lot of haters. It's just that every fucking comment I got was negative. Like, like literally, if you go back to one of my first ones, uh, let, let's just say the, the, uh, the UD Goblin, and you look at the comments and you look at the old, you, you can't sort of buy oldest, you can sort of buy newest, and then you have to scroll all the way to the end. Go look at those comments of some of my first videos. Those are some asshole comments. Uh, but then I came through and now here I am and, and I'm going somewhere with this. Chase, thanks for the 20 beans, brother. Uh, I'm going somewhere with this. Now, if I would have continued to make them, all throughout 15 and 16, because I, I think I came back in November of 2016. If I would have continued to make them 14 to 15, I would probably have 600,000 subscribers, roughly speaking, maybe, maybe even more. I don't think anything less than half a mil just because, well, I mean, do I really think all those people would be watching it? No, because a lot of times you subscribe to somebody and you totally fucking forget you're subscribed to them. So that may be the case. I mean... 10%, right? That's the number we're looking at when you're looking at how many subscribers you have and how many views you have. 10% is the window you should be in. Me is a little bit different because I'm kind of edgy, controversial, so a lot of people that watch me are not subscribed to me because they just, I, they, whatever, they're embarrassed to say that they watch me. I don't know. I have. I have. I've, I've picked up a lot in the past year. And... um. I know, uh, Brian, I don't know if you're still in the chat, but uh, you were there for this when the guy was like, Jay, you're going to get burnt out. You know, you do this every day. This is, this is going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. You, you're going to get worn out. That's not the case at all. Every fucking day before I made this live video, I had to go outside and make a video. You know, um, I wake up in, I don't want to say in disarray. I wake up in a, right, right. There you are, Brian. So I, I wake up in a way like, okay, today I'm going to do a review. I'm banging out. So I have to put on a smile. I have to, as shitty as my day is, you know, there's a lot of times where I'll do a video. I just did one the other day. And I think the video, I'm working on it right now, is like two hours and 43 minutes long. But there's a lot of, uh, not, 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 I don't say ums and ahs a lot. Think about all the time we're talking now. So the situation was, I just, it was so long, but I was having such a bad go. I had kind of like a writer's block, but I cut it up and you would never know the difference. You know, it, there might not be as much as humor as in the next thing. And you may not think I'm funny in that video, but it's very difficult to make a video every single day on a different product being unbiased. You know, it's always, always difficult to do, but I managed to do it and I will never stop. I won't. I won't. Uh, when I go to the expo in August, uh, Ryan and Bree will both be there as well. Um, but when I go to the expo in August, even though I'm there, I have videos ready to go. So while I'm there, I'll have videos ready to publish. I'm so anal retentive about it. There's another military slang for you. Uh, what will happen is I'll actually upload, because it has to say when I upload, it's got to say the next day, if that makes sense, because I, I want to go every day with a video. It is, Wendy, true, true, true. Wendy says, Jay may be a lot more, I, everybody can see what you just wrote, uh, more heat on reviewer products, but it is to be expected. It is. But, and I don't know at this point, Wendy, why I still have to justify why I put the heat on other reviewers or even other companies. It's not like just reviewers. I don't really do it so well. No, I just did it on Dovpo today. I did it on SIG before. I've done it on OBS. I've done it on, oh my God, Joytech, Eleaf, everybody. There has to be a certain standard that is a guideline, you know? Um, maybe not. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me that feels that way. It is what it is. 365, yeah, and actually, there's actually some days where I'll upload two or three videos because I want to hit that 365 a year. That is true, Joseph. All reviewers should be held at a certain standard. You know, there should be, and I, I hate saying this, but the way you have to look at it is, is the, if we're looking at my rating scheme, I have a whole write-up. You know, big shout out to Howard and uh, Codron, who we we have two different variations of my rating scheme. But my four, my five, might be someone else's seven or eight. 
You know, I, I've told you what I rate myself. I rate myself on a six, 6.5 block as a reviewer. I feel there's things I can do to change it. Well, maybe not 6.5. So I feel it's probably seven, 7.5. Um, there's things that I could do that, that can be better. I try to interact with everybody, whether you're a patron that give me your money, whether you're just a supporter on Wix and Coals. I've been trying to be on Wix and Coals more. I'm on Reddit. I'm on fucking Tumblr. Who the hell uses Tumblr? I feel like I swear, I feel like I'm a damn minor. It's like, it's all 10 year olds, but I'm like, yo, that is a cool picture of your four wheeler. That's a really nice power wheels. Like I, <laughs> I don't do Snapchat because Snapchat is snap corny. Like that shit is just stupid. I get it. You love it. You send pictures to somebody that you have a secret crush on, show them the cooch or the whatever. I'm not doing that. Not doing Snapchat. Not today. Not, and I tried, I tried. I don't even have that shit on my phone. I just can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, I'm even on fucking Tumblr. I don't even know what I'm doing over there. I think I just have automation set up. So once I do a video, it uploads that. I, I can't I can't honestly remember when I ever have written anything on a serious on Tumblr. But I do I even do fucking Pinterest. And Pinterest has died down since 2003. You know, it hasn't been used in 26 years. Alcyon, I hope you're, I, I hope you're joking. Like, I, I hope that you're joking with that comment. Don't bash Tumblr. I think Tumblr's doing that for themselves. I mean, it's a website that has like 15 people using it. Right. That's, I don't need to do it when they're doing it and making themselves look foolish. <laughs> Suck my mom, what's up, man? Um, yeah, don't send me a fucking cardboard box. Um, did we throw that box away, the Dolfo box? Yep. Okay. Uh, we throw it in which garbage, over here? Can you grab it? It's not grabbed. You threw it away away? Yeah. The Dolfo box. No, the one that I just did today. Oh, yeah, Ryan, grab that out of the trash can for me, the one that I just did. Um, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Uh, same company, right? Back to drama. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. Same company that made the Basium. I threw this away. It's got a fucking coil in it, some extra glass and shit. Um, the same company that made the Bassium in that cardboard box comes in this nice, elegant box with this nice ribbon. Which one is it? Are we trying to recycle? Or are we trying to decycle? Same company. This also has a USB on it. Moving forward. It is a nice box, I agree. I just, you know, listen, listen. Everybody knows now, and anybody that's watching this video, you get why I am the way that I am. You know, uh, uh, a lot of military people will understand it. Other people will look at me like uh, I'm condescending, or I, I just have a really high, why do you think I've been married 28 times? Why do you think I have 13 kids with 26 different women? I split chromosomes. That's what I did. <laughs> I don't know how I got half the people, but why do you think that is? Just because, you know, uh, if you're going to make me dinner, bitch, you got to be cooking for four hours. I mean, I'm just saying, you got to make me dinner. Like, if you're going to make me cookies, you better roll that dough. You better, you better, you better make a chocolate chip. Like, don't get a bag of chips and put that in the dough. I'm talking about make the chocolate chip. Like, get whatever you need. Cocoa leaves, whatever it is you need to make chocolate bars, do that. Make the dough. Get the fucking rolling pin. Don't and don't don't go to like Pathmark, which is now defunct. Don't go to Shoprite or Piggly Wiggly, where you're at in the world. Coles, that's not right. I think it's Kroger's. Uh, don't go there and be Bobby the Big Roll chocolate chip cookie dough. That's fucking cheating. I'm talking about roll the dough. Make me that cookie. 
you would say, well, Jaden, how are you this big? How are you this size if you don't eat? Well, because I eat the chocolate before it's actually chocolate. I'm the guy gnawing on the plants outside. There is no limit. <laughs> Bigly Wiggly is a real thing. If it won't let you donate money to me, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you could always go to my Patreon. That's a way to donate money today. If you have to donate money here and it's not working, I'm sorry. I'd love to take it. Just send me a money order. Yeah, no, I got that the first time you said that. All right, you take it easy there, David Maresca. Yeah, that's a real, that's a really weird name. But when I was uh, stationed in South Carolina, Fort Jackson, back in after my tour, second tour, in that. 05, 06. Wait, hold on. 03, 04, 04 to 05. 06, 06, Fort Jackson. You have to have Piggly Wigglies. I was like, oh, what is this? Oh, you're selling pigs? It's fucking weird. Yeah, relaxing Jackson. Ain't none of that. No, I, I get that, Paul. I get that. I get the idea that he wanted to design it where it was compact, where it didn't have USB, but don't expect me to get something and then not address that concern. I get the idea behind the whole Dofpo thing. I do. I get it. I, I get it. I totally do. That doesn't make it okay, though, just because that's what you designed it for. You don't think people are going to find faults in it? That's not life. That's not any life I know. I mean... Why do you think people get denied when they're trying to pick up chicks? Because you're busted. You're not funny. You're corny. I mean, I, I, I'm not speaking for you. I'm just saying that's life. So if you make something, you can't expect not to get repercussions. You know how much shit I had to endure with the 502? Are you fucking kidding me right now? The amount of shit that I got for that dripper. But guess what? I still have people messaging me every fucking day. Where can I buy one? Still have people calling the shop. Where can I buy one at? And people are able to flip it. And they're able to make money off of something that they're flipping now. I totally endorse that. If that's what you want to do, you want to make 50 bucks, make 50 bucks. If someone's willing to pay it, sell it. Whatever. So if you're going to make something, you have to be prepared for the repercussions and take responsibilities for your actions. Again, that may be... That may be, maybe that's not where you're at in the world, but where I'm at, that's a very relevant thing. Amen to that, Steve Krolick. Amen, brother. I don't know about that, Jessica Gates. The box didn't come in a cardboard box for the 502. The 502 actually came with real wood. Like, that, that's real wood. Like, actually wood. The Jenna won't come like that. I can promise you that right now. If I'm going to drop that. Look, there, there's been plenty of people. You know, I was just listening to Johnny Drips the other day where he was talking about the Warrior RDA. Big shout out to Johnny. I don't know why I'm giving him a shout out. Hello, Johnny. Uh, but he had brought it up that he had tried to get it sourced out in America to make it. Realized that he had to put 50, 60 grand up. And how much money was going to cost them for each stripper? 80 bucks. So, you know, people people have this misconception that uh, Monster Man, there he is. What's up, man? I was waiting on your money. You got me over here hooking. Uh, so, yeah. The, the Gen RDA, you know, and he was saying that um, it was so much money to get it made in America. So he kind of outsourced the China because he didn't have that money to bring up. And that's the same thing that happened with the 502. But, um, I hate saying it like this, but there are certain corners that are able to be cut in order for the Jenna to be as cheap as it is. You know, you have drippers that are coming from China. Look at the Karma RDA. That's $100, right? You might find it for 70 or 80 bucks. That's wholesale price. You might find it for 60 if you get lucky. Mine's going to be $20 more made in America. It's going to be very hard to argue that. I mean, my goal is I take something negative that people say and I make it positive. You saying I won't make it? going to force me to fucking make it 
you saying that I'm a piece of shit is going to force me to be a non-piece of shit. It's the way that I am. I take things and flip them. Again, that probably goes back to the military, but it is what it is. Um, you know, the thing is, Jezza, uh, you're the same guy that made all those comments that all my hazers were attacking. Uh, the funny thing is, when you get a lot of high ends, they actually come wrapped in saran wrap. That is a very real thing. Um, Oh, you can see it through the bag. Saran wrap. Um, that's different, though. That's different. That's different. That's different. I just feel it's different. Dafo should have been in a nicer box. That's where I'm at, and that's where I'm standing. If you don't agree and you want to save the world, that's great. Congratulations. Everybody can hold hand and sing We Are the World. We are the world. We are something. Save a trash can. Or a plastic bag recycle I mean <laughs> good for you good for you that's that's great that's one more person that cares about the earth and the soil that we stand on that's good stuff I don't know what you're referring to that doesn't make sense Um, JTH reviews. What did you say? Ah, uh, you know, I wonder. Same thing when I seen it. I'd say they got sent on the boat when they tossed the. I don't know what that's in reference to. Switchblade mod. When can we expect the reveal? Ah, uh, that's rough. Uh, as soon as two weeks, as long as a month. If you sell me diamond in a paper bag, I'm good with it. If you sell me a basic rock in a paper bag, I have a problem with it. Very, very good. Very. I love that metaphor. What do you got? You got some papers or something? Um, that Quincy, I love that fucking comment. I love where the hell is it? I absolutely, I have to screenshot that. I love it. I love it. It's so true. Because if you buy a diamond, right, it comes in like a stupid fucking flipper the clamshell thing, right? But uh, there's a saying, something about piece of shit and bag, you sell it, maybe not. I, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but there's a saying out there for that. It's a good point, though. It's a very good point. I like that. I like that, Quincy, a lot. I do. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Danny. Um, I'll have I'll have my second prototype Monday or Tuesday. Ah, it's a little too maybe, maybe not Monday or Tuesday. Probably Thursday. Yeah, I got it. I agree, Quincy. I do. Again, I'm not I'm not giving shit because I I, I just didn't like the bag or the box. I mean, whatever. But aren't I entitled to that? Am I not allowed to not like something? Or do I have to be like everybody else and suck everybody's dick? My lips are going to be numb. I'm going to need fucking collagen. There's a lot of things that I have to do to make everybody happy. Why, why don't you make a fucking video talking about how much you like cardboard boxes? I got time for that shit. You know why I don't have time for that shit? Let me show you why. Let me show you why. I want to make sure that my fucking panties don't fall down. I don't know why I'm wearing fucking panties. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this. Give me a second. Hold on. Stop talking. Stop talking shit. Stop talking shit. Let me explain something to you. 
It's nice when you get something that's real nice and it comes in a package like this. It's high end. It's nice. I get it. You can use the argument that high end should be coming in a in a nice package. It's a lot of money. I disagree because that just jacks up the price more. But then you take a look at this. Now I don't know what the fuck that pop up is. Um, I'm gonna have to check that out later. Big shout out. Uh, I can't fire off all the names right now that got this for me. The the, the patrons and the hazers. The video uh, cried up like a baby back bitch. Um, but this is good packaging. You know, this is a block that essentially, if I wanted something to match that mod, I could chop this up. I wouldn't. Excuse me, but I could. So, like, that is sexy as shit. I, I don't know what that has to do with anything, uh, but it's just, I, I don't know what, I don't know what I was trying to say. I'm just saying that nice shit can come in nice boxes, but a lot of the times that jacks up the price of said such device. Just the way that it is, you know? I mean, it's, I don't, I don't. It's like the same thing with the 502 is I, I wanted to make the packaging unique. It jacked up the price because Brennan had to sit there, uh, you know, with his wife making these fucking wooden boxes uh, to make them presentable. Now the Jenna, I'm not quite sure what, but it might come in a, it might not come in a bag at all. It might just f flop. I, <laughs> I I don't think I'm going to do it like a flop. I, well, it's not going to be a flop, but I, I definitely don't want to just put it in a bag and just <laughs> time to get it shit's all scratched up. Jay, what the fuck is this? What is this? How did you sell me this? Cigarettes? Um... Yeah, R Ricky was Ricky was in on it. Edwin was in on it. Uh, Michael Lane, Brian Nickel, uh, I, I think Mike Walls. Uh, I may be wrong there. There was a couple people that I think there's a couple that are actually not hazers anymore and have since stopped vaping and doing whatever with their life. Uh, there was a lot of people that went out on this, and this wasn't cheap. And Diana or Vicious Sam did not give them any kind. Of, I don't. I don't think they got a deal. I think. They, they might have. I, I don't. I don't know the deal. I just know that they went above and beyond. Yeah. Ter, ter, okay. Yeah. Turvish. Turvish did help. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, Gareth? Why does everybody who is giving Jay Hayes shit try doing what he does? What do you mean by that? Can you elaborate a little bit on that? I don't know what that's in reference to. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's fifteen, fifteen hundred. With that, that's that's just the mod in the box. Yeah. <laughs> John. <laughs> One way to look at it. Um, to the vapor views. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. There was somebody I was watching that was replicating a lot of my movements with my hand. And I know they say imitation is a form of flattery, but I'm not flattered. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Be original. You know, be you. I, I there's, there's not many people that... There's people... Uh, you know, that do that rip it apart and look at the electronics. There's people that uh, read from a box. There's people that um, kind of wing it. And then, you know, there's people like me that just break shit. And I was I was looking at numbers today, and the crazy part is, what, what was the total, Ryan? 233 years, right, for the total? Oh, yeah. So for the total time watched, it equated to, I think, 123 million minutes. 1400, 1440 minutes in a day, 1440 times seven times four times 52. So it's a lot. It's a lot of years that I've been watched. Not like one person has watched me, that's just a lot of time. That's a problem, buddy. If there's people that are, it, it, and, and see, that's, that's, that's kind of uh, it's kind of daunting to most people that are just starting out reviewing, is because you have so much competition already 
you already have someone that does this. You already have somebody that does this. So you have to be different. You have to have that personality to be different. Uh, for lack of better terms, to be relevant. You, you have to be. If you don't, well, you're going to get scrutinized because you're just like that other dude. And it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a turnoff for most people. And there's quite a few of other, you know, like, like, Pal702. I've been with that guy before he even did reviews. I was shooting the shit with him. Uh, Jared, I actually talked on the phone. I think he had like 200 subscribers. So I, I know what it's like coming up and how hard it is to, to, to get known and to, to get people to watch you. So you have to do what you have to do. You have to go on extreme measures. You have to do things that people wouldn't, aren't willing to do because there's always that person on the other end that wants to hear the drama, that wants to see the shit that nobody else is doing. There you go. There's John right there. A lot of people think that I hate up and coming reviewers. That's not the case at all. That's not the case at all. I mean, I, I, I this sounds like such a shitty comment. It's not like I don't have faith in them. It's just that there's so many other people doing it that it's almost like a repetitiveness. You have to add something that's different to the table. You know, funny thing is, Matt, I've, I've given you shit about this. Uh, I don't know if you're still in here, suck my mod, but uh, I've given you shit about how boring you were. You know what's funny is, I wish I could share the screen right now, but the past two months, mine and your Inside the Minds, the first one, so many views. So many views. The average watch time is like 57 minutes. Like, so... I was just telling the other day that there was a video that I was watching. I was like, oh, you spiced it up a little bit. It's not like watching fucking paint dry. Like, it was actually movement. It was like, yeah, fuck this thing. I said, oh, shit, I'm interested. You could have talked about anything at that point. I don't know. I, I, I know that's a snarky comment that you're saying not everybody could be cool as peaches. I know you're referencing me. I'm, I'm not sitting here saying I'm cool. I'm just going to let the numbers speak for themselves. Look at, look at my patrons. You know, there's a, there, there's an old saying that when you're, when you're in, okay. When you're, when you're at the most desperate times in your life, life, you may look at someone and be like, ew, that person's gross, or ew, that person's disgusting. But a good counter to that is real simple. Somebody loves that person. So it's the same thing with reviewers. It's the same thing with um, people that, 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 that have to fight for the respect that they get. I'm not saying I'm going to be liked by a lot of people. By no means am I going to say that. No, we're cool, Jezza. I don't listen. I don't hold only. There's only about two people in the YouTube community that I hold fully responsible for what they did, and one of which is a reviewer, um, or a lack thereof. Uh, I guess you could call them a review. Uh, I don't think they've done a review in like the past eight months. I, I haven't looked looked them up, but I don't. I'm I'm fine, dude. I just think the problem is a lot of people, uh, like even uh, I, I don't want to sit here and single out, but a lot of people think that I had this vendetta against UK because I didn't like the mod. There's certain fucking people in UK that I hate, but you know, and the people out there saying that I'm not going to go to the UK vape expo. One of that. What are they going to beat me up? Okay, come beat me up, man. Over dripping? Nah, I don't over drip on the 502. You fucking crazy? I could go all day with this jamming. I saw Mike vapes in here. I don't know if he's still in here. Oh, my thing is stuck on top chat, so I haven't seen anything that is live. Okay, very good. All right, here we are. Let's beat up Jay. <laughs> I'll just call the cops anyways. 
I don't know what that's a reference to. Um, October's a little soon. It's a little soon. Yeah, now that live chat is up, this fucking thing, I can't even read it. Um, uh, I don't, uh, Chad, I don't need a passport. Uh, Switchblade price, uh, we'll say roughly beginner entry is 400, top tier is 25. Derek Medley. Oh, shit. Long time no see, man. The fuck is going on with you? Oh, my God. It's been a minute. Can I see this? Yes, Turk. I can see this. Ah, uh, Brandon, he's going to the uh, the ECC, right? Yeah. I have the one in Cali. I, I have a thing. Yeah, I just have a thing. That's. <laughs> so which blade is the mod that's coming out, Franken? My mod. Next inside the mines. Ah, uh, Eleanor, it's a good question. I, I have people in the lineup that are ready to go. It's just it's it's very hard to schedule based off of other people's um, time zone that they're in versus the time zone that I'm in. Which would I choose, the Mach One or the Rage Squonk? That is a tough call. Uh, the biggest problem I had with the Mach 1 was the size. It was like holding a microwave in my hand. It was large. But it was, it was. It, I mean, it, it was able to support 34, I think, or 36. Yeah, Mike, you know that. You know that, Mike. Shut up. You bought a 502 clone and made it squonk. Congratulations. You are now an asshole. <laughs> cool. I saw your comment and realized you're a dickhead. So I guess we both did something constructive. Fuck face. Uh, moving forward. Uh, why, why tell me that? Like, what? who gives a shit? Hi, but I burnt the aglet off my shoelace today. So I ordered a taco. What? Who gives a fuck? Like, shut up! Fucking cornball. <laughs> so stupid. Who remembers popcorn balls? God, those things were disgusting. <coughs> the Halloween shits? <coughs> yeah, because they're like fucking three cents. <laughs> Tell me why your cotton is better than my cotton from my granny sock. I guess that was your attempt at trying to be funny. Good job. Um, so you would choose the rage. Uh, well, let me answer the granny sock thing. Uh, a lot of people think that this cotton that I have is junk, but I, I think there's a lot of people that can also attest or agree with how good it really is. So as, as much as your joke, uh, putting that out there, don't knock it till you try it. Go out and go buy it. You know, buy a plane and fly it. Anyway, uh, uh, what was the other question? Something about uh, shoelaces or something? What was the question? Purple 18650. Where do you see a purple 18650? The big song. I already commented. Oh. I know what an aglet is, Shane. I know what it is. Any suggestion on a good engineer to make a mod in CAD? Um, CAD in reference to 
Are we CNC or are we 3D printing? So you guys thought I was playing with this fucking thing. Dude, I've been using this shit. I just noticed yesterday, though, the button is a little finicky down here in the corner. It still works good. It's just finicky. No, this is not a switchblade in my... If my switchblade looked like this, we have a problem. So any questions? Covered a lot. A lot of drama, a lot of, lot of different things. What do you got? Someone asked if there's any updates. No. Uh, Joytech has... Uh, well, officially, no. Phone call? Yeah. Not any kind of, well, uh, I don't know if you would consider that. I guess you could consider it official. Uh, uh, probably not. No. Uh, black and white? No. Verbal? Yes. But they could, they, they could do whatever they got to do, man. I, I'm not taking it down. Would you do other product reviews instead of vapes and liquids? Um, KBN, are you on my other channel, The Real J. Hayes, where I do the taste testing with the candies? And um, there will be some future sprinkled in um, blade reviews. But I have that other channel for that. I was putting them here, but the problem is me putting it here is there's a lot of people that don't want to hear anything not vape related on my channel. So... I've gone with the masses and done my other YouTube channel. Uh, Colonel Lace wanted to know what makes the difference in the Switchblade price. Is it extra goodies in the package or actual material functionality of the mod? Functionality of the mod will be exactly the same whether you buy the cheap one or the high-end one. Uh, well, I don't want to say cheaper one. Uh, but the functionality is the same. What will be different is it will come with certain things that you can only get if you spend more money. I don't have that problem, Salty. I mean, I, I don't. I, ever since this thing came in my life, I really haven't been using a lot of single battery jammies. I've always preferred cylindrical regulated mods. What is a bracelet I'm always wearing in the vids? Which one? The one on my left arm or right? This one or this one? Take it easy, Jer. The less expensive one, um, the less expensive one will only come with one thing. That's what I got. I can't say what that is because it ruins what that mod does. Uh, do I use same juice? Yes. Every single product, every single tank, every every now and then they'll, I'll sprinkle in, um, every now and then I'll sprinkle in a different juice, but more often than not, I, I try to keep the same juice just for consistency. So I know what flavor to compare to the next. Uber toot products. Yes, Mike B. I have three Uber toots. This is the one that I use the shit out of. Um, my Uber Toots, the first Uber Toot that I got cost me $980. And then the second Uber Toot was six, I think. And now I have both. I used one, collected the other. What juice am I vaping on? Cyto right now inside the drip, but typically it's Rain Dance. And then in the tank is Lost Recipe. Always the same shit. Brian Nickel just posted it. All right, take it easy, Matt. Bracelet on my left arm is, um, let's see if I can show you. Okay. I don't know how well this camera's going to pick it up. So inside each one of those, this is G10 here. And then right here is, um, oh, my God, a cable wire. Uh, do I have the basic RDA by five A's? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, the basic RDA, no. Mm -mm. Uber Toot is definitely a definition of high end. Very finicky, very different, still very much relevant, 
and uh, very rare. A guy made them in his garage out of the UK. No, no hot button. Mm -mm. Uh, I, I will tell you that someone had returned this, though, because uh, they woke up in the morning and they had stopped working. But I can tell you that I've been using this thing every single day religiously. I hate the fact that it's a 2700, but uh, I would have loved the 21 in it. But all in all, I mean, it would have made it that much bigger. Uh, have I tried the Alaskan Pipeline RDA? That doesn't even sound like a real fucking thing. Jay, do you plan on making a 28 millimeter, 30 millimeter RDA? Uh, after my Jenna RDA, I'm probably done. There's no need to make RDAs anymore. There's plenty of people making them. I might sprinkle one in later on down the road. That's just me. That doesn't have to do with any other party except for the machinist. Um, but this is probably it for the RDAs. RTAs, there's going to be two releases. I was going to go with China, but I decided against it. I had a really nice write-up, too. Um, like, really nice demands. And they were going to be met. But I decided that I can't go the cheap end just because there's a lot of people that do the cheaper end. And I've kind of set a precedence for me being high-end. So it would be foolish for me to make something on the cheap. So RTAs, there'll be two. Uh, one with Vicious Ant. I'll just put that out there now. I really don't care. Uh, the other one is too early to tell. And then RDA, RDAs, I just said, and mods, there'll be one, two, three mods. That's it. Look how many people want the 502 now. Um, GT3 or GT4? Hands down, GT3. GT4, I've used a lot. I I love the GT4. The only problem is the only difference between the two is obviously one's got more airflow. But the only difference is really is the GT4 is more finicky with the build than the GT3 is. GT3 I don't mind taking out because I know I got the build. I've been building on it for whatever two years. GT4 is kind of um, I don't want to say new, but if you just do the wicking a little bit too shy, you got a problem. Do I think some reviewers are just putting their name on Chinese designed RDAs and mods? Yes. I don't think I know. Steel frame, steel flame stuff. I don't even know what that is. Steel flame. That sounds like some kind of sneaker. You got those new steel flames? I don't know what the hell that is. Um, Brie is beautiful. Just putting that out there. Would love to see her more in your vids. Brie ain't got shit to do with my channel. I, I'm going to make this very clear. This was a, a big problem when M used to work here. Because people said they wanted to see a lot of M on my channel. My channel is in Jay Hayes and family. You know, my, my channel is in Jay Hayes and Brie and Ryan. No, no. It's Jay Hayes. If Brie wants to get on a channel, Brie could fucking make a channel. Just like everybody else in the world today. There's, there's no free passes on this ride. This ride, you have to pay to play. And Bree can hear me say that. I don't say that in, in, with any kind of hatred. It's just, no. If she shows up, that's fine. If I use her nail to open a, a dripper, that's great. But that's not what my channel is. There's plenty of other channels out there that have people, more than one, performing, doing videos. Doing reviews. There's there's plenty of people that do that. My channel's just not one of them. So if uh, I, uh, I don't know who the fuck you're talking to, my girl, you might want to try to re-enter the room a different way. What's up, bitch? I don't know. What's up, dickhead? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to fucking respond to that. Suck my mod has got a beautiful wife that he that she giggles and they do taste testing and shit. There's plenty of other people that do that. My channel will never, ever, ever be that. I'm not saying that there's anything bad against it, it's just that's not what I am. What did Matt say? Why is everybody saying LOL at suck my mod? What did he say? He said to come work for Where did he say that? Free come work for me, I'll give you more credit. Fuck you, Matt. How's that sound? 
play a game of go outside and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Matt's my boy. We shot Matt. Matt is a cool fucking dude, man. Um, we talked about a lot at the last expo. A lot, really. He, he's nothing like his reviews. I promise you. I, I promise you. If he was that dry, I wouldn't have lasted fucking three minutes with him. I'd be like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. There was a cockroach on the floor over there. I would have got the fuck out of there. Um, but no, Matt. Matt is Matt's a good dude. He knows how I feel about him. He knows. Steel Flame does high end. Oh no, I, I Bree is like a daughter to me. I, I tell people that all the time. She's she's like my child. I mean, the amount of respect that I have for her is vast, but that doesn't give her a pass to my channel. I don't think you guys realize how well. I guess for women, it's not that difficult. But all Bree does is work. She doesn't really have a lot of time to be making videos, and I would not approve of that. I don't pay people to make videos. People pay me to make videos. Boom. Have I tap danced before? I tap dance right now. You guys are watching me dance all over your face. Ask a stupid question, I give you a stupid answer. Thanks, Monster Man. Um, you've inspired me to start my own channel. You're an awesome dude, man. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Uh, Quincy, any more accessories? Yes, I have a box of drip tips for the 502, top caps, barrels, and that's it. Delrin's coming. Uh, did, did you did you get on the list, uh, uh, Quincy? The website with the with the password to be able to buy the Delrin version. That's on. Um, yeah, I don't know how to answer that, Mike Curl. <laughs> I don't know what to say, brother. Ask your question. I'm just gonna fire off an answer. Um, Quincy, there is there is uh, the, the link on Patreon. You saw it, right? With the with the password to get whatever you want to get. Yeah, absolutely. Bree is Bree's a great fucking person. I wouldn't doubt that at all. Yeah. Um. Right. That. Well, that's it, Quincy. That. Oh. Oh. I get. I get what you're asking me. Um. Yes. But too soon. Uh, no. um, Scandinavia. Where the hell is that? Scandinavia? Oh, that's probably, probably the area. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm assuming that's where that is. Now the five, uh, Dimitri, the the five hundred two has been done. There's plenty of people out there. There was a thousand made. There, I, I I know I speak on behalf of probably a hundred out of those thousand. Um, suck my mod. He has one. He probably doesn't want it anymore. Contact him. I'll sell it to you. He's a sellout. That's all he does. I'll sell the shit. He's making jokes. I can make them too. Uh, Viking area. Okay. Uh, no. Pulse 24 versus Dead Rabbit. Dead Rabbit. Uh, yes, you can buy... Yeah, I, there you go. Matt already sold it to China, so you will not be able to get that unless he gets it back from them. Uh, can I buy the 502 Drip Tip if I don't have a 502? Yes. Uh, I have them in the most awkward of colors. Like, hold on a second. And these are made in America. I haven't seen it. I it when I wasn't here. Top caps, all different colors. Aluminum. Drip tips. Got some weird shit in there. We got some ultimate and clear jammies. Oh, and a new center block. Yeah! For Bree's broken here. fucking 502 that we just can't fix. Lots of different drip tips. Shitload of the clear ones, since everybody asks about them. And then your barrels. Frosted barrels, crystal barrels, everything. All made in America. Every single piece inside. 
Uh, best RDA right now. Mike, what is this? Does this look like the fucking price is right? Do I resemble Bob Parker? Like, we're not doing this. Not today. Mm -mm. Um, yes, there is all the drip tips. All the drip tips belong to us. Jay, do you have a list for your new RDA coming out, or is it first come, first serve? Uh, Jenna RDA, will uh, uh, basically every reviewer will get it because it's mass produced. It will be made in America, all pieces. Not quite sure of the packaging. It's probably going to come in a cardboard box recycled. No! Um, everybody will be able to get it, but patrons will always get it first. Higher tiers down, and then to everybody else. But there'll be enough to go around. I... The, the, the goal is 5 to 10K of them being made. So they should essentially be on a couple websites. Uh, I, I could probably speak on behalf of Vape Happy, um, all day vapes. I don't want to speak for Chris. Uh, I don't want to speak for Element Vape. But it will be available everywhere worldwide. Uh, Rip Trippers, I will not send it to because Rip Trippers can suck my balls. If I needed a salesman, I would not call him. I'd rather send my dripper to other reviewers that I know will give their opinion than send it to one guy that'll get more views, if that makes sense. It's more important to me to hear things to improve on than it is to send it to somebody. Just know. <laughs> it's the best answer I got for you. Nope. And I would not pay that fucking fee either. Because I'm sure it's like 2500 and I'm not going to do that. There's no need to. Um, Bogan will have it, of course. Bogan will have it. Uh, Matt, M Mike, uh, Faye, uh, anybody that is... A reviewer, even Jared the Vape and Goat, Pal702, there'll be plenty to go around. Five oh two drip tips will be on Vape Life. V A P E L one F E dot com. More like you won't send it to him because you have tried before and already offered him money. Uh Rye Guy, you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Uh I offered him ten thousand dollars to do an interview. I didn't offer him any money to do the five oh two. You're very misinformed. I offered uh tw Twisted Wood 419 money to do a review and uh no or maybe that was an interview. I, I think that was an interview, which I showed on Inside the Minds, which was like five K or something. I I've 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 no. I've never spoken to rip trippers in regards to doing a review so i have no idea where you got that from oh okay well then touche to me my bad you got ah you got me <laughs> you got me uh any e phoenix reviews i'm waiting for matt to send me his uh, what are your favorite colors? I'm going to knit you a blanket. Do not knit me a blanket because I'll burn it. I have a lovely furnace that needs fuel. Damn Steel 502, I do not use. There's a build in it. Um, the reason why I don't use it is because I can't match it with anything. But there's your Damn Steel. And that is right there. You see on the bottom, it just says J. It's a clone. Of course. It's <laughs> Be awkward if it wasn't a clone. Ah, uh, what do we got? You guys got to give me more money than that. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye. Uh, damn it, steel. Here we go. I hope there's a building it because I'm gonna look like an asshole if there's not. Tastes like sock material. Probably should have wet it. Where to purchase the Black 501? Uh, Rye Guy, you're not a very good troll. Like, you're, you're, you're not you're not really funny. Sam. Uh, did I get on the list for the 21700 Ricky? It's already in route. Uh, I was talking to him before he decided on the 21700 uh, in regards to I wanted to get a Black Juma just because we don't really see that, you know? And um, 
and this was before the 21700, so he was going to send me that 18650 version. I found it there at 21700. Touch base, he was like, hey, man, I'm making it. It's on its way. So what? Oh, shit. Give me that five. Give me five. We were done. Um, I don't, Salty, why, 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 why try to spark that fire? Like, like, I, I understand you like drama. I get it. I have nothing wrong with vaping biker. I don't know what that takes to get through your thick fucking skull. Like, I don't know how many times I have to say that. I have nothing against it. Say that to yourself 50 fucking times. You'll eventually get it. I promise you will. Say it to yourself. Jay has nothing wrong with vaping biker. Jay has nothing wrong with the, I promise you that you'll get it. There you go, Salty. Mod's working. Um, my curl, I don't have a shop anymore. I sold it. Is your armor pro all black or did I imagine that? No, it is all black. What is it? What is it supposed to be? What color is it supposed to be? Did I don't did they make other colors? Mine's all black. Everything. Oh yeah, the blue and the orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's all black though. Kiss of me. What a cool fucking name for a town. Why did I change my Bassium video? Ah, uh, because it was a part in that that didn't need to be in it. That's why. Endor smokers on the side of the mines. That guy told someone, one of my hazers, uh, I hope I can say his name all right, Hamish. Told him that he wanted to call me to do an Inside the Minds when clearly he has never seen Inside the Minds because I don't do phone calls. Um, this isn't a hotline. You know, there's <laughs> there's no 1-800 dial in here. Um, inside the Minds is with people, not inside the phone. Like, that's not what that is. Uh, so he was clearly misinformed on what the show was. But needless to say, um, no, that's not an option. Just like there's other reviewers that will never be an option because they either want too much money or they don't have time for it. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to make excuses up for them. I'm not saying that they need to be on the show. I'm just saying that they all have wonderful excuses. All of them. No, 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 no I'm not. I know how someone's going to take that already. So it, it is what it is. Hey, man. Oh my god, oh, what is going on? You're the best, Jay, your friend from Tunisia. What? This guy came in the store, and he was like, hey, man, I just got off a plane from this country, and he told me the name of the country. I said, that is not a real country. He said, yes, it is. That's where I'm from. And he, he goes on talking about how there's only 1,300 people that live in the whole country. And then uh, I think I made a joke about being a terrorist or something. And I maybe took it a little too far, but he laughed about it. He had a good sense of humor. Good dude, though. Good dude. What is going on, brother? Took some pictures and shit. Took my balls. I took his. Yeah, you are right, Jenny. I do not need to explain myself. I say what it is, what it is, man. What it is. Uh, Damascus, Jenna. No, no. Uh, well, not yet. Let's, let's wait it out. Let's see how she does. Take a pickle. Jay, would you wipe the floor? Okay. That doesn't. I'm not even going to answer that question. The only ones that don't are reviewer model. I don't know what that's a question to, Paul. Um, mine's not a reviewer version, though. Mine's purchase version. My my polar was was uh, reviewer sent. Where's the deja vu RDA somewhere? Why? Right. 
Joshua Rosen, long time no see, brother. How's it going, man? Uh, do you have to put dual coils in the drop solo to get good flavor? John, I use the drop solo with a single horizontal, no problems. The vertical dual stacked, excuse me, the dual vertical stacked was really, really good. I mean, the airflow going right between the two, nice, man. I mean, fucking nice. Nice. Yeah, that was, yeah, they said Taco Cat just walked by. Yep. Jenna RDA, a month, roughly. Maybe sooner, maybe later. Tyler, Taylor Burton, what is going on, man? The fuck, I got people coming out the woodwork. Literally, I haven't seen half you cats for like the past two years. Did you stop vaping? Went back to the cigarettes? Now you're back on vaping? Oh, let me visit Jay. Rachel! Hey, you stranger man. Donnie Drips, I was just talking about you and the um, how you guys were talking about the American Made Warrior and how much it cost you to uh, you to go over that. No, it was it was all good, salty. It's fine, I get it, but it's just like I already this happened in the original drama thing where I was talking about TVP and then people try to bring it up like it's over. Is it's you're dead to me? Like that's it. I. I don't know what else to say. Okay, great for you. I really like all your videos. Seem honest in your reviews. Good luck. Okay, that's that's that has got to be one of the shortest get the fuck out statements ever. I gotta get the fuck out of here. You suck. Gotta go. Okay, sounds good. Um, vaping with Vic be getting a Jenna. I uh, th th that was deleted pretty damn quick. Um, I, I I don't know. I don't know. Vaping with Vic comes in my channel. And talks in my chat, so uh, either he's doing that to get, I don't know why I'm acting like C3PO, uh, either he's doing that to get to attention, because he wants more subscribers on his channel, or, I just say how it is, man, or um, he's subliminally saying he's sorry. It's a tough call, tough call. Yeah, I got a problem with Vic. Vic's a, Vic's a straight dude. I mean, I shot the shit with him on that show. That is what it is. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing against Vic at all. I just, I, I don't know. He comes in the chat and he talks to all the people in the chat, but he doesn't say anything to me. It's kind of weird, to be honest with you. It's like me going to watch a live show and I ignore the host and I'm only there to eat popcorn and talk to my neighbor. Why did you go to this show then? <laughs> Is that a meeting place? You like my t-shirt? Thank you, Rachel. I like your t-shirt. Black 502s out there for sale? No, right guy. The, the 502s have been long gone. Um, long gone. Why you don't like rip trippers? Mike, you got a lot of questions. Um, LW, if you want to hear about the Jenna, you could go over to patreon.com and look for Jay Hayes. I know that's not the answer you want to hear, but that's the answer I'm going to give you. Uh, nobody needs to know about that right now. You know, um, there, no one, you can't pre-order it. You can't buy it. So there's just no need to discuss it. You know, what is going on? Jesse B. What's up, man? Hand check. 502s, uh, Rachel's in here, Bree's in here. Um, I think I think 502s now on Wix and Coils is selling for a buck 80, buck 75, good condition. So you're making, you know, 50 bucks. Do some tricks. Uh, no, fuck you. Uh, why don't you like Rip Trippers? You asked that. Oh, that was somebody else. I never said I don't like them. I just don't talk to them. Will split really come with the switchblade? No, it will not, DB Squonks, because you will never get it. It will be confiscated, I promise you. Uh, 
Yeah, you saw that, right, Joshua Rosen? Fucking crazy, man. Kojan was in here? I didn't see him. Where's Kojan at? He should have a wrench. Who's coming out in New RDA? Rip Trippers? Shut up. There he is. Wait, hold on. Are we serious? Are you trolling me right now? Are you for real, for real? Oh, I was going to say, he's coming out with a new dripper. Um, Did I get the new Microtech? Uh, which Microtech? I got the UTX Dammy. I didn't get the other ones that I ordered. No, not yet. Uh, Pickles is supposed to send them over. Where's the fucking drama? Press rewind, dickhead. Uh, asking for me. Yes. That's what everybody saw about the Jenna RDA. No, I cannot, Samo. What's going on, Carl, man? What's up, man? All right, take it easy, Jesse. Take it easy, Jared, man. I know you love this drama shit. Kirk Miller. Jenna versus the dead rabbit. Uh, Jenna. I can promise you that I, I'm going to rate the Jenna. I don't have a problem with rating my own shit. Uh, condescending, fine, whatever. Uh, I can promise you this. Promise you this. The Jenna RDA will be available to all. You don't have to worry about not being able to get it. Um, there should be no reason why you can't get it. Uh, especially if you're spending 70 beans on a Reload X or a Goon. Um, or 60 beans even. I promise you this. There will not be another RDA. Okay. Up till the release. The release of the Jenna RDA that has this much flavor. I fucking promise you that, without a doubt. Now, if something comes out after and they utilize something that I did, I can also promise you that this is 100% leak proof. 100%. Yeah, that just happened. All right, 99.9. .9. You know, you're going to have that dickhead that dumps 8 mils into the dripper. <sighs> Take it easy, Adam. Yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here, too. It's 3.44. I've been here for like an hour and 45 minutes. Send my RDA to India, bro. How about you buy it and we ship it to India? There's a good option. Do they even... I know it's a big statement, Shane. I know it is, brother. I know it is. But when have I led you wrong? People said that the airflow of the 502, it was going to leak. It wasn't going to be innovative. And they're like, oh, that's a stupid idea. Of course it is, but no one else thought of it, right? And then they said the same thing with the squawk, right? Did the squawk. So I have a pretty good track record for backing up what I'm saying. You build this right. I promise you that there, there's, okay. Even if you build it wrong, I, I don't see how this cannot give you the best flavor that you've ever had. Just saying. What size shirt do I wear? Extra small. Five hundred two versus Jenna. Jenna, without a doubt. Five hundred two is a leak-proof, uh, very, very. Let me say leak-resilient. RDA. I, I mean, clearly, I'm using. I mean, it's it's on fucking everything. You know. Oh, fucking bottle was tilted over. Ah. Uh, um no i don't autograph any of the shirts i sell because i don't actually sell them tom they're drop shipped the creed rta sure if i get it 
I, I'm kind of backed up now with shit. So I, I'm not buying anything right now because I have so much stuff I have to do. Actually, John, I would just wear regular XL. I'm a lot skinnier than what people think as fat as I am. Armor V2 RDA, yes. Uh, funny story, Alcyon. Uh, I had an armor. It's kind of a... I, I guess it's this somewhat of a funny story. Well, it's not funny. Uh, but it was on, on my Ravens, right? My Ravens Moon box mod. A lot of people don't know what that is. But uh, when they went from Kryptonite tanks to Ravens, they, went, they made the Ravens Moon box mod. Anyway, long story short, had it on it. And the only time I've ever dropped my mod, ever, that was on it. And I dinged the top cap. So it's kind of tarnished, if you will. So no review. But I do have it. No, I know I'm not more in, but a lot of people look at uh, th this. Is how I know that I'm not a chubby monkey. If I, I guess I have the reference because of my father, I know I got this extra shit here. I get that, you know, I get it. But I've been stuck at this 242 forever, like I can't get any lower. Um, anyway, I know I'm too big. Is when my when I brush my teeth and my belly shakes. That's how you know you're too big. Or you can steer with your belly button. Too big. <laughs> I have a lot of room between me. Of course, my seat does go back a lot, and it's an STI, so I can basically sit in the back seat and drive. It is what it is. Palm Plus, of course, Kodra. Uh Colonel Lace, to answer your question, I saw your question before in regards to the Mavitons. It Mavitons doesn't work like everybody else thinks all cotton does. A lot of people are like, oh, your wicking job sucks, Jay, or that's too much cotton, or, it's too little. The way that Mavitons works is depending on what you pull off from what section of the cotton is going to dictate how much you use. I know that sounds really fucking weird, but it's very sporadic what you pull off. Like, for instance, if I go in there and grab it, I might get a little piece like this. Or I might go grab it and get a thick-ass, chunky jammy. So it all depends on where you grab the cotton from. Um, like, it's very, it's, very, it's, it's very difficult to explain. But how you build it, mm, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, if you were to use it to a comparison in regards to, like, Japanese cotton, you would use less. But you don't fan. You know how a lot of people like do the fan trick? Don't do that. You don't need to do that. That shit is super absorbent. Take it easy, Wheezy. What does it look like out of the jar? Socks. The um the saber. Jenna RDA I wouldn't consider high end. I would say he's a chunky price tag for a draper, but I wouldn't say it's high end. Mm -mm. No. Will it be machine? Great, sure. Will it function? Great, sure. I feel it doesn't meet the price point to be high end. Price point, one twenty five and up. Most people would consider it high end, though. I just wouldn't. Capstone RDA review is done. Um, it's done. I just I I have to edit it. Best RTA so far. I'm only gonna I, guys. You guys got me for like another. Three more minutes. Um, best RTA so far. GT3. Without a doubt. Without a doubt in my mind. Best RDA. I have to say is the 502. Not because of the flavor. Nope. Because of how much I could drip and don't have to worry about. Because I love super saturation. You know, as you can tell, I wasn't using any squat mods this whole time. Uh, I'm using two 502s. Um, I, I just, I, I love squonks. I just much prefer a dripper that I could douse the shit out of it. 
and get double the battery life. So 502, um, with that, I mean, anybody that's ever came to the store, that's Ricky Bobby when he came to see me. Michael Lane, when they come to see me, I'm using the 502 right now. As we're talking, I'm using the 502. Uh, I, I just, it's very hard for me not to use it because I could literally pour juice down it. So that would be uh, top tier. I would also say the Sherman 28 is pretty damn good. Warhead's pretty good. Um, Gorgon RDCA is a good option. These are all like not cheap drippers. Cheap drippers, recurve is good. Drop solo is good. Um, cheap, 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 cheap. Ah, uh, Dead Rabbit is good. Cosmonaut is good. Those are cheap drippers. Mods, there's way too fucking many to list. I agree, Kojin, that, that I 100% agree. If you have muted flavor in a 502, something is fucked up. Like, something's jacked up. There should be no muted flavor at all. Is it a little loud? Sure, sure. Is it difficult to build on? I don't think so. Some people do. I'm not a fan of the Venna at all. Dwar Rob Fisher Dwarf RTA is a very, very good RTA. Very good. I'm probably just saying that because they're Hungarian. Um, I wish I could show you guys what I got. So I have like all my high-end RTAs, high-end drippers, cheap drippers. Wasp Nano, very, very good RTA, RDA. Very good. Dead Rabbit, very good. GR1, I never did. I never got, I never got the gas mods one. A lot of people talk about it, but I never got it. Oh, uh, the, without a doubt. I mean, the Wasp Nano, I don't want to ruin it. I rated one of the best drippers. I, I rated that above the 502 for flavor. Yeah, man, that's pretty fucking close. I mean, the, the 502 flavor is – I'm going to put it to you like this. All these all these months I've been using the 502, I'd say the flavor on the 502, all the different builds I've had on it on a 0 to 10, 6.5 maybe. Maybe seven. Ease of use. It's a fucking nine, almost a ten, man. It's just too easy. You saw me dripping. I mean, I just, I, I literally just, oh, da 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 Um, worst RDA. Oh my God, the Kanger Tech I8 RDA. Yo, what the fuck? Like, how do you go from making one of the first sub tanks that were made to making that hoopty? Yeah, and that's no spitback. You can hear it. That's why I love the 502, man. I mean, that's... Yeah, you shouldn't be getting any spit back at all. Um, da, 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 da. How's the Armor Pro? Armor Pro is good, man. I was hoping to replace it today with the Punisher, but a 4.2 volt made me lose my shit. Yeah, Kanger Can Can Tech is not doing good, Daniel. Not there. I don't know what the fuck that company is doing. I I can't even name the last Kanger Tech device I could think of. Their old shit was so good. The sub box, the top box, as much as the shit that people had, those were solid fucking devices, man. Um, no, my billet boxes. I use the Flow Ti by Otis. And the Insider 2 by Steam Tuners. I haven't used my billet box in a while just because I've been it, with – it sounds like I'm promoting the shit out of it, but you can't even buy it, so it doesn't matter. But with the 502s, man, I, I just – I don't know. Giancarlo, 200 tier what? Take it easy, Ricky Bobby. It was good seeing you, brother. 
Tesla V200, yes, I do. I I mean, it, it, yes, I do because it's a solid mod. There's a lot of people that have had problems with those, though. So I, I have to mention that with the Tesla weight. Ah, uh, Tesla V85. I like the 85. I, I thought I rated that pretty high. No? Like a 7? Zephyr or Intake? You're talking about the Asvabe Zephyr or the Intake? They're two very different drippers. They're very different tanks. Get a GT3 or GT4. Good luck, Tony. Good luck. It took me forever to find one for Bree and two other people in Wicks and Coils. That shit is hard as hell to find GT3s. Even if you can't, and I have a direct contact with the company. Like, hello. Hello, 11 volts, single 18650. Um, it, it's GT3 is like looking for a unicorn in a sandstorm. Uh, I didn't think the Dead Rabbit sucked. I enjoyed the Dead Rabbit a lot, probably because it was one of the first, well, I don't want to say it's one of the first, but it was a very early comer for the top airflow of RDAs. M16, what's up, brother? Dane Bentley. The DNA, right? Dane, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. That's a far reach for Cthulhu to do. Ooh, that is a far reach. DNA 75, and all your mods have sucked. Oh, I can't wait for this one. The same shit happened with the Dewan, remember? Everybody's like, oh, you won't break a DNA. Do we not remember the... I got... I ha I need you guys to help with this. I need your help. What inside the minds or what live show... It's going to be hard for you to answer without looking it up. Did I actually break the Kennedy? The, the DNA, the 250, where I shattered it. I could not find that video the other day. I know it was a live show because I remember turning the camera... You guys have to help me find that. It's one of the inside the minds. Once this video is over, comment down below of what it is, please. Oh, my God. Something super spicy. Josh, did you? Dude. Yo, go watch the beginning. That's spicy as shit. That's, that's ghost pepper spicy. What? X pepper. You guys ever do that death knot challenge? Ooh. Oh, I would pay to see somebody do that. Take it easy, Joseph. Thanks for the support, brother. Yeah, Pepper X. Not a lot of people know about the Pepper X. Uh oh, Toxic. You know. But I, I'll tell you, man, those peppers, I can handle them, but ooh. God, see, I already have ulcers, so it doesn't matter. Like, it's, <laughs> well, that's irritated. I could drink water or eat a pepper. It doesn't matter. It, it literally, the crazy part is I could drink my cherry amp, which I have offered a lot of money for people to find, which you can't. That's another thing for you guys to find. You guys want to make me a happy man? Find me cherry amp. Good luck. Uh, I, 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 it might have been. I agree, Toxic. I agree, brother. I agree. And that's Pepper X. Is, oh, smelling it, dude. It's the hottest pepper. It's just not rated, right? It's just not in Scoville. That's a hot fucking pepper, man. I prefer pods over liquids. Yeah, you, you will, Gene Carl. You can't find them. Sad thing is, too, when I was getting them, I was like, I've got so much in the back, I don't want to order them anymore. And now I'm out. I'm literally almost out, tapped. Vince, you told me, you told me. I just can't find Cherry Nas. Who makes that, Pepsi or Coke? Ah, once you challenge, nothing. That's nothing.
Nah, Daniel, that's not right. 14, I def it wasn't 14. It was, Bogan was there, I think. Oh, God, I could not remember. Nah, it's not good, Andy. They don't ship. I tried. You ain't blow clouds? Wow. When you're going to need to work on something. That sentence is missing like eight fucking words. Nah, I'm 16. No, no mech squonks. Nope, no mechs at all. I won't design it. Yeah, Bogan was there. He was. I just, I'm not sure which one it was. All right, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I'm at the two-hour, two-minute mark. Thank you all for showing up and enjoying my lovely drama. And I'm just going to plug all these things right here, all these boxes in this realm, all over here or something. Well, Caleb, it'll be available once it's over. Yeah, that's the correct one, Clint. You got it, brother. I just don't know what it is. On that note, I'm getting the fuck out of here just because, well, it's okay.